Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous class, we discussed about uh, basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem and how to derive that theorem. So, in this class, we are going to discuss about what is the converse of basic proportionality theorem. So, before we understand about converse, the word converse, what does that mean word converse? See, uh, for example, there is a statement, there is a statement given like in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, if AB is equal to AC, then angle B is equal to angle C. This is one statement given. This is purely a mathematical statement, right? And it is a compound statement because this is the statement is uh, the combination of two simple statements. What are those two simple statements? Can you identify? They are in triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. That is one simple statement. That simple statement is said to be hypothesis because that is the information given that is why it is said to be hypothesis. Then what are you going to prove? Then you will have to prove that angle B equal to angle C. What is the second simple statement? In triangle ABC, angle B is equal to angle C. That is the second simple statement. Now, these two simple statements are connected by two small words if and then. Right? The statement between if and then is said to be the hypothesis the statement between if and then is said to be hypothesis and uh, the statement after then is said to be conclusion. Statement after then is said to be conclusion. Now, generally every statement would be like that. Suppose, if you write the conclusion as hypothesis and hypothesis as conclusion, then the new compound statement will be formed. That new compound statement is said to be converse of the given statement. Now, can you please tell me what is the converse of this statement given? The statement given is in triangle ABC, if AB equal to AC, then angle B equal to angle C. Now, I am going to write hypothesis as conclusion and conclusion as hypothesis. So, just put angle B equal to angle C here and AB equal to AC here. Then the statement so obtained will be in triangle ABC, if angle B equal to angle C, then AB is equal to AC, as simple as that. That is what called converse of the given statement like that I am going to introduce you what is the converse of our basic proportionality theorem. So, our basic proportionality theorem is if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle then it divides the other two sides in equal ratio in the same ratio. So, what is the converse of the statement? Now, you can understand what is the converse of basic proportionality theorem converse of basic proportionality theorem. So, if you observe the statement of basic proportionality theorem, then you can easily write what is the converse of basic proportionality theorem. Suppose, if you if there is any line divides two sides of a triangle in equal ratio, then that line will be parallel to the third side. If a line divides two sides of a triangle, I am going to write the statement, if a line divides, if a line divides two sides of a triangle, two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, if a line divides two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then it will be parallel to the third side then it will be parallel to the third side. So, this is what is the statement of converse of basic proportionality theorem. First of all, let us try to draw one figure according to the given statement. So, I am drawing a triangle here, this is one triangle. Let us name this triangle A, B, C. For example, there is a line, for example, this is the line intersecting a, B and A, C at two distinct points, let they are D and E and what is the information given? If a line divides two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, that is what I am going to write here in the form of given or hypothesis. What is that given? In triangle A, B, C, in triangle A, B, C, D, E is a line drawn 
um, intersecting AB and AC in two distinct points D and E such that AD by DB is equal to AE by AC. I will write directly. So, what is the information given? AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. This is what is the information given. Okay. What are you going to prove here? RTP is then it will be parallel to the third side. What is the third side? BC is the third side. Then you need to prove that DE is parallel to BC. DE is parallel to BC. So, how are you going to prove this? You are going to prove DE is parallel to BC. See, in order to prove DE parallel to BC, we can use basic proportionality theorem because this is the converse of basic proportionality theorem means we already know the fact of basic proportionality theorem. So, we can happily utilize that statement, but how can you utilize the statement? There is no line drawn parallel to one of the sides of the triangle. So, that let us assume for some time that D E is not parallel to B C. Of course, we do not know whether D E parallel to B C or not. So, that I can understand one thing that we can draw one line definitely drawn parallel to B C through the given point, because if there is a line drawn like this and I can draw infinitely many number of lines that can be drawn parallel to the given line, but if there is a point given how many number of lines that can be drawn parallel to this line through this point there is only one line this is the only one line, but we need to prove that that is the only one line is D E through D, but we do not know that. So, that is why what am I going to do here let us assume that there is another line what is that another line for example, D F another line D F which is drawn parallel to B C. Okay. So, assuming that assuming that D F is parallel to B C. If D F is parallel to B C then it divides the other two sides in the same ratio according to basic proportionality theorem. Therefore, by basic proportionality theorem we can say that D F is parallel to B C then you can say A D by D B is equal to A F by F C right by basic proportionality theorem A D by D B is equal to A F by F C correct because D E is drawn parallel to B C according to our assumption, but remember one thing what is the information given in the statement A D by D B is equal to A E by E C that was already given, but a D by D B is equal to A E by E C because that was already given. Once you observe both of them A D by D B A D by D B. If both left hand sides are equal can we equate right hand sides? Yes, we can. When we equate right hand sides then you get A F by F C is equal to A E by E C right. A F by F C is equal to A E by E C. Can you infer anything about this? I am not getting any idea. So, that is why I will do one thing I will go by componendo the method of componendo you know what is the method of componendo adding 1 to both the equal ratios adding 1 to both the equal ratios. So, if I go by componendo the method of componendo means adding 1 on both the sides of this equality then it is going to be A F by F C plus 1 is equal to A E by E C plus 1 right A F by F C plus 1 is equal to A E by E C plus 1. So, when I simplify this then I would get A F by F C plus 1 is going to be A F plus F C divided by F C is equal to A E plus E C divided by E C. Then what can you say about this A F plus F C is equal to A F plus F C is equal to A C. So, A C by F C is equal to A E plus E C, A E plus E C is equal to A C is equal to A C by E C. Can we cancel A C and A C? So, what did you get finally? We got F C is equal to E C that implies F C is equal to E C. What do you mean by that F C is equal to E C? Can anybody say that F C is equal to E C? You can easily understand one thing here that F C is equal to E C means 
f c is equal to e c it means that f and e are at the same point. So, therefore, f c is equal to e c it is actually not possible unless f and e coincides. So, that therefore, d e is only parallel to b c, but not d f because if d f is parallel to b c then f and e are not at the same point. So, therefore, there is only one line which is non parallel to b c that is d f d f is not parallel to b c that is d e only parallel to b c. So, therefore, d e is parallel to b c. So, this way you can answer this otherwise you can prove this statement of converse of basic proportionality theorem right. What is the statement of converse of basic proportionality theorem? If a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio then it will be parallel to the third side. Okay. Let us try to understand a few very important facts which will be used in our higher studies in, in, the, in, the, in terms of geometry. So, what are all those things? We know about basic proportionality theorem that is A B C is a triangle and this is a line drawn parallel to B C let this be some D E. Okay. According to basic proportionality theorem, we can say one thing clearly that A D by D B is equal to A E by E C. Correct? A D by D B is equal to A E by E C that was already given. So, what am I going to do here? I am going to add one on both the sides. What do you call that? Componendo. So, the method of componendo that is when I add one on both the sides A D by D B plus 1 is equal to A E by E C plus 1. A D by D B plus 1 means what is A D by D B plus 1? A D plus D B by D B. This is A D plus D B divided by D B is equal to A E plus E C divided by E C. Once you see what is this A D plus D B? A D plus D B is equal to A B right. So, that A B by D B is equal to a e plus e c is going to be a c. So, that a c divided by e c. So, this is the first fact this is by componendo the method of componendo. So, this can be used in order to solve many number of problems depending on basic proportionality theorem. So, a b by a b by d b is equal to a c by e c that is the first thing and second thing I will take the reciprocal of both the ratios reciprocals means what d b by a d is equal to e c by a e right. Now, I am going to add one on both the sides. So, adding one on both the sides then what do you get? You will get a d plus d b a d plus d b divided by a d is equal to e c plus a e divided by a e right. What is A D plus D B? A D plus D B is again A B that implies A B by A D is equal to A E plus E C is equal to of course, A C divided by this is A E, A C by A E. So, this is another fact for this basic proportionality theorem. So, please do remember this, these are by componendo we can understand them easily and these are very important and useful informations and I would say applications in order to solve the problems by basic proportionality theorem and converse. Hope you understand. Thank you.